Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, feeling so super lucky. Um, <laughs> I received some gorgeous happy mail um, yesterday in the post. I haven't opened it. I've literally just sliced the envelopes open and, um, you know, I'm now hopefully covering the addresses. So this first one that I'm going to share with you, this is from Kelsey. Um, so thank you so much, Kelsey. That's so kind of you to have thought of me to send me this lovely gift. So I'm just pulling it out. I will uh, get rid of the note um, and read that afterwards because there could be obviously, you know, things that she doesn't want to be having read out. So I will just pop that to the side. Um, beautifully packaged, isn't this lovely? Oh, and this gorgeous velvet ribbon. I love velvet. So this is absolutely lovely. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to keep this, obviously, to be able to use this in some projects. But I will try and actually put this back together in its um, original form after I do this video. Who knows whether I will manage it. But look at this pretty tissue paper. It's got all these glittery... Um, I think they're stars, but I actually can't really see whether they are or whether they're little dots. My eyesight's not good enough. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, how beautiful. Look. <gasps> Lovely things in here. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. This reminds me of, um, uh, you know, if any of you have watched Gone with the Wind, um, Belle Watling. Belle, Belle Watling. She's um, the fabulous character in Gone with the Wind. So that reminds me of her. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I love that. Thank you very much. And look at this gorgeous lace. Oh, I love this. That's fantastic. And, you know, I absolutely love using black things. And actually, I've just started work on my Victorian parlour junk journal, which I'm thinking definitely this I can use somewhere on that. Possibly this as well. I will have to kind of have a look. But thank you so much, Kelsey. That's right up my street, all these beautiful dangly bits. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Isn't that so pretty? It's got these beautiful sort of... Um, I always think this type of thing reminds me of oil. You know where um, colours merge in. It's like an oily kind of colour or effect going on. And I don't know whether the camera's picking that up at all, but it's very striking, very pretty. So... Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, now I'm struggling to fold them because they obviously don't really want to fold these types of fabrics. Oh, look at this. That's super pretty. And again, that may may work on my Victorian parlour journal. I'm not sure, but yeah, I will definitely try that on there. Oh, and I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> I can just picture that kind of like stitched around on an envelope, just on some coffee dyed paper. I'm just trying to see if I've got any to be able to oh, show what's going on in my mind. But look at that. Just stitch around the edge and that would just look stunning, wouldn't it? Yeah, I love that. Very, very pretty. Thank you. And then these are some paper bits. So I'll just have a quick look at this as well. Look at this fabulous flower flower trim and there's tons and tons of this so this is fantastic I wonder if I could coffee dye this I'm sure it probably would coffee dye okay wouldn't it I'm going to have a go yeah I might even have a go later on today oh thank you so much and there's so much of it which is awesome because then I can be really really generous and um, you know use it a lot so that's awesome thank you so much and then some paper bits, which, oh, they're all napkins, aren't they lovely? Look at this one. Hold on. So there's this one, which is like that beautiful twirl um, effect going on. And it's in gorgeous kind of um, like violet mauve type patterns. That's really, really pretty. Oh, I love this retro one. Look at that. I've never ever seen a napkin like this before. <laughs> I know that sounds really strange, but I've never seen any retro napkins ever before. So that's really fun and really cool. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, look at this with the peacock feathers. Again, isn't that so striking? I'm trying to think 
whether that would be able to be decoupaged onto black, I don't know. I don't know, I've never decoupaged onto black, but I might have to give that a go. I love this, so bright and colourful. Oh, that's gorgeous. And look at this, like a tie-dye, like a marbled, marbled effect. Isn't that lovely? Again, never seen anything like that. And now I'm even wondering whether Kelsey actually did that herself. I haven't got the first idea how you would do that, but it's very cool. Oh, and look at this pretty one. Isn't that lovely? Very, very pretty. Oh, I love that. Very delicate, very, very pretty. Well, thank you so much, Kelsey. I'm feeling very, very blessed and very lucky. So, yeah, thank you very much. And as I say, I will read your notes after I finish the video. So I'll just put that face down so that you, um, you know, aren't sharing any things that you'd rather I didn't share. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate your kindness. I'm going to pop that out the way. And then I was super lucky because also I received this one, which again, I have just undone the envelope so far. Oops, again, let me just turn that over in case there's any private information there. Let me just pop that down. Let me unclip the note. Look at these cute pegs. I love all these lovely cute pegs. So they are super fun and I will be using those in my projects obviously so that's very very cool and this lovely package is from Sue Baker and she's actually in the UK so thank you so much Sue I really 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 appreciate your kindness again thinking of me so oh she's got these these are must be these eco papers eco dyed papers I have never tried the eco dyeing I have watched a couple of videos on how people do it um I don't know whether I would be able to achieve very much, but you've got some lovely patterns going on here. Oh, look, <gasps> that's awesome. Thank you very much for these. Everyone knows I love bling. Yeah, I love these. You've got some great effects. I love the yellow. That's really pretty. Yeah, they're very, very cool. Thank you very much, Sue. And then a whole lovely bunch of envelopes here. Oh, is there something in this envelope? What is in here? Let's have a look. Oh, how cool! Look at these. They're like little um, closures, and these are made from, um, you know, tin can tops. Now I have seen somebody. I feel like it might have been Eva from Bohemian Crafting make these before. I've never had a go, but aren't they cool? And then you could even have them as kind of magnets, I think. Oh, they're brilliant. Thank you very much. I shall play with those and see what I can what I can do with those. Thank you very much. And then I'll just pop all these pegs back on. Keeping that closed like that. Oh, I'm feeling very, very spoiled. Thank you very much, ladies. I really do appreciate your, your thinking of me really kind of you oh look at this how awesome this is loads of that gorgeous craft colored card i absolutely love this craft colored card and this is just fantastic thank you very much this is my favorite um you know cr uh, card color is this craft colored card so that's awesome and that would be just fantastic for covering tags and journaling cards and things because my craft card is proper thick really you know heavy duty card which sometimes is a bit too thick so this is fantastic thank you very much oh and look these are all papers in it's like the craft color but it's like more of a beige type shade oh that's awesome thank you very very much i shall definitely be using all of these things so yeah, thank you very much, Sue. I'm feeling super, super, super lucky. So really, really kind of you. Really kind. Thank you very much. I'm going to pop that to one side now. Oh, feeling very spoilt now. So thank you. It's really, really kind of, of you guys to actually think of me like that. Thank you very much. Right. Just going to quickly do a quick flip through of my um, folio piece. So 
this was using my Mayfair kit and I had just launched this I think when we kind of started going into lockdown so obviously I completed this but the posting situation has you know not um you know I've not been able to kind of be posting it or anything so anyway I will show you kind of what it um contains now so again I've used this black and white striped ribbon I've had this in my stash for ages but weirdly <laughs> just used it a few times recently and it just looks so striking and so awesome when you actually put it on things so um I'm now kind of coming to the point where I'm running out and <laughs> wondering why I hadn't been using it all the time previously and I won't be able to get any more now watch so I've bound the whole lot together obviously with this ribbon I've pinned on one of my little stamp charms there just with a bold pin and then the whole lot um there's just a bow here oops that you can just untie and obviously take everything out. Now this turned out pretty fat and full so it, obviously it wouldn't all fit into the folio so you've got different pieces here. So if I kind of go through it one at a time so this one here this is a little um, junk journal so you've got here obviously some layered up pieces on the cover um, and then some lace and bling and what have you on there. It's been bound with the baker's twine and then going inside on the inside of the front cover I've just popped a pocket with some of the ephemera pieces from the Mayfair ephemera kit so they all go in there and then I've coffee dyed all of the papers so these are the papers from the Mayfair um, background pages and I've just coffee dyed them and put them in here so you've got a mixture of the patterned pages with the plain backgrounds which I just love and obviously it all sounds lovely and crunchy because it's just that lovely copy paper and then this one here is the center of the signature so I've popped a paper clip on there it's an altered paper clip oops just altered using one of the journaling cards from the ephemera pieces of the kit got some lace and some bling and that's just holding on a little handmade envelope which again contains just a couple more pieces from the Mayfair kit. That one just goes in there. Oops, like that. And then that all just obviously clips onto the, the page there. Oh my gosh, now I'm not going to be able to clip that on. Oh, no, that envelope obviously needs to go sideways on, otherwise it won't fit. Um, and obviously you've got the baker's twine there. Uh, and then you've got more room for journaling so you've got a lot of journaling space in here and then clipped on then to these back pages I just include included one of my little fold out pieces oops no, I can't fold it out um, so you've got a fold in there tucked in and then you open it out and there's a whole bunch of journaling space there so again, you know, you can use this as journaling space yourself um, or you can obviously enclose this into or include this in a journal. So this just tucks into here. Again, struggling to do this from this distance because I'm stood up at the moment and it's on the table. <laughs> right, so that just tucks back in there. And then obviously if you wanted to stick it in, you would just stick it in on this side and it would open out here and obviously tuck out and open like that. So that's just paper clipped onto there. Oops, now I can't clip it back on. What is going on with me today? <laughs> and then, sorry, um, I've clipped it onto two pages now. Right, sorry about this. So then you've got obviously some more decorative papers like that. So let me clip it onto those again. I think I clipped it on intentionally in the first place to two because I thought it was quite a heavy piece on one. Right, then <laughs> this um, decorative page here and then on the inside of the back cover you've got a pocket here which sorry did contain that but as I unclipped it I pulled this out as well. So the back pocket has got just this little piece here again these are just some um, ephemera pieces from the kit so they just tuck, tuck in there and then this I just created this from um, it was just basically an off cut of paper which I'd used for something else and so then it was cut at a strange shape but I love how this turned out so if I just show you so it's kind of cut like an envelope at the top but it's very short as you can see 
So I just folded it in there and then folded this flap over. Can you see that? Like that. And then obviously popped this um, baker's twine with a thingamajiggly like that and it ties round. So I really love how this turned out and I'd never done one before but I thought it was really fun. And then obviously on the inside I just thought wow what a waste of space otherwise so I just created a little flippy pad with some more of those little decorative papers and again they're all plain on the back so you've got lots of journaling space there and you've got journaling space here so yeah I really really love how this turned out and I'm going to um you know try and remember to make some more of those because they're really fun so that's the journal for the kit then if I just show you the couple of things that also didn't fit in so I've just done a big um, belly band or pocket piece here so this obviously to be used in a journal you just glue round on either three sides have it as a pocket or of course you could glue it top and bottom and have it as a belly band this actually is a pocket as well so you've got sort of a double pocket going on and this here this is an envelope which again I created a oops, little altered paper clip isn't that so cute I mean that was very fiddly for me because that was pretty tiny for you know for me by my standards it was pretty tiny um but I love how that looks so again it's just a little postage stamp for the kit and that just holds the envelope closed on the flap then you've got lots of lace and things here again some flowers from the kit and a butterfly little bow and then on the back of the envelope, I've just included a journaling card and one of the postage stamp pieces. So it looks properly like an envelope, a little stamped hot air balloon there and some lace. And then going inside, I just popped in again, just oops, another couple of pockets to be used in a journal. So these are just some, I mean, like totally basic um, junk journal pockets, literally some book page and layered up elements there with some lace and diamante and you would just glue them sorry about the back it's obviously old um, paper that I had printed on previously and you just glue it down on like three sides and then just use it as a top pocket and exactly the same with this top pocket there so yep love those if you wanted to use them as journaling cards of course you could either just gesso or paint over here or just cover that with some um, plain paper and then use that as journaling you know instead of using it as a pocket okay and that just clips back closed with that teeny paper clip so I love how that looks I'm just going to grab some water Hold on. okay so then the last part is obviously the folio itself which we obviously started and made quite a bit of this together I think um so at the back you've got my handmade by shabby dabby doodah label there um and then I've just included some of the ephemera pieces and some black lace I just thought that looked gorgeous inside this flap here so kind of inside the back where the back pocket opens you also had a pocket in there and I just included a couple of tags they're attached with a ball chain there and obviously on the back they're plain for journaling into here like that on the front cover again we've got lots of lace going on another piece of the ephemera little sort of fabric tip in type bit there and then when you open the folio up there is a glassine bag pocket so you've got like a glassine bag attached to this pocket base if that makes sense so again this is obviously to be really glued into a journal I would probably just glue it top and bottom and then you'd have a side pocket and then when you flip this up, so let me get something plain to put on there so, so I can demonstrate it better. Hold on. Oops, now I can't see any plain, big enough paper. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so you'd glue it down on the page and you'd have a flip here with obviously some bits in here. So you've got obviously journaling card there. That just tucks up here. And then you've got a journaling card in this pocket like that. So I love how that turned out. And obviously I've reinforced the fold just with some lace here. So, yeah, I think that looks really, you know, really nice. So pleased with that one. And then in the folio itself, we've got here lace trim and then a flower here. 
holding in just a little piece of coffee dye paper just a little fold you can see it's a bit torn there um, from the coffee dyeing I mean I don't mind that but I just feel I need to point that out that just tucks in here let me just move it while we take out these pieces so this large pocket here is containing a journaling card here and then again we've got some of that lovely baker's twine and then pull this up and again, a bit like that other one, this is literally from like an off-cut type piece of card. But again, I love how this turned out. So you've got, um, you know, the kind of length phase of the card and then it's chopped down here like an envelope flap. And then you just zigzag fold it in or Constantina fold it in like that. Fold your flap down like a sort of long coin envelope appearance. Put some baker's twine on and then you can just loop that round isn't that cool so yeah I really love how that turned out and again I must remember to try and make some more of those so that just goes in there as well and then I can put this back here and then here we have got a little fold out flap so it's got some lace at the top so journaling space there and then we created just a couple of pockets here so you've got a journaling card here in this first pocket just goes in there and then you've got here a little journaling card and a little flippy pad there again with a mixture of sort of plain and patterned papers that just goes in there so I mean you've got an awful lot of journaling space in this um, folio and then going over sort of turning it over to the back I've got here some of that baker's twine so again let me just undo that I'm not very good at undoing this when it's so far away I have to say oh gosh now I'm going to have to put my glasses on to do this oh no I'm too far away I really can't see what's going on I'm afraid so right, sorry about that I just needed to get kind of closer to it really to be able to actually see how that was um you know where I needed to pull so again um tied in with this stuff I've just got some of the lovely paper and it's just been coffee dyed and then folded over so you've got more journaling space there here you've got a foldy flap and you've got then more journaling space there it actually folds out three you know three ways like that and then like that and then tucked in there you've got one of those little grease proof paper um you know foldy booklet things so it's very rustic. I mean, I have to say, you can see these are not straight at all or anything, but I mean, that doesn't worry me, but I do want to point that out. You've got some lace trim again, just reinforcing that spine. And obviously it just sounds lovely and feels lovely. And you've got some layered up pieces there. So that just kind of tucks in. Then you've got here some lovely lace and little bits. And then you have another little foldy piece here, which again, I mean, if you put it there, it's probably easier to get to. Um, but you know either or and then or if we fold it out perhaps would be easier um, you've got some oops journaling pieces which again I can't get out now here we go um, a journaling piece here with some of that um, time card that I'd received in happy mail and then it's just plain on the back for journaling so that just goes back in there and then here you've got just a little pocket with, or banner pocket with a ticket. So more journaling space there. And then on this side, you've literally just got um, some more of that beautiful paper. So, you know, I just wanted to keep that simple and um, leave it as was. So that's that. So that all sort of ties back in there. Hopefully my tying won't be as bad as my untying. So there we go. And then here, on the like inside of the back cover just got a little bulldog clip holding in a couple of journaling cards also holding this little flap closed so this flap is kind of held closed really by these journaling cards because you've got a pocket here which once you put the journaling cards in they act as a stopper um, but it's also reinforced obviously with the bulldog clip so here you've got just some more journaling pieces all plain on the back so ready for journaling so you've got a lot of space in here and then again you've just got a little flap here on the side 
which just folds out like that. So I love how that turned out. And then they just go in there and we can just obviously clip this back onto the side. Oops, like that and fold those down. And that's it. So that's everything in there. Did I leave that out? Was that supposed to be in somewhere? I can't actually remember now, to be honest. Um, I think it probably was supposed to be in here somewhere, but yeah, I think it was in there. So we'll pop that back in there. And then um, again, just all of these things, you know, layered up. And then I put the journal on the front. But I mean, obviously, you know, you can have it however you like. And then again, it just obviously bound with the black and white ribbon, which I just thought looked lovely on there. Really, really pretty. So I just pull it sort of equal lengths and then just, you know, wind it round at the back. Oops, and then we can just tie it up here, which of course now I'm going to have to move my my pin because it's now in completely the wrong place, but that's fine. So we can obviously move that down to lower. I just prefer it beneath the bow, or actually it could go on the bow, so we we'll put it on there. So you'd probably need to take that off now to actually undo that bow. But yeah, so that obviously um, is all in my shop. I mean, obviously the Mayfair kit is also in the shop, you know, the um, Digi kit, but the actual folio and journal and all of these bits also listed in my shop now. So if you wanted to go over and check it out, that's all in there. And um, yeah, thank you so much again to Kelsey and Sue for my lovely happy mail. And um, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks then. Bye.